Alright, hello people. I'm the dude and this is more Minecraft tour. Uh in this tour, uh we are going to be waving farewell. Wave wave farewell to the castle and the greenhouse, the mountain of doom, the mana tree off in the distance, the volcano. Basically, this is now site one. And Site 1 is finished, for the most part. And the Tree City. Wave goodbye. Goodbye, Tree City. Uh, this place is more or less finished. If I continue building around here, it's just going to get extremely cluttered. It probably already is. Although it seems okay to me. But yeah, this area is done. I'm going to start building in a completely new area. And how am I going to get to that area? Well, on my Sky Rail. My brand spanking new shiny sky rail. As you can see, it goes off in the distance. You can't even see the end. And it goes really fucking far out there. I'll tell you that right now. Stupid zombies in the way. Get out of the way, zombies. Wave farewell to the zombies. Goodbye, zombies. Goodbye. Ooh, and the spider. Get away from me, spider. I know like you, spider. We not friends. Get away from me. Anyways, this is the bottom of Site 1 Sky Rail Tower. As you can see, it goes up and the cart is coming by. We want the cart to stop next time it comes down. Uh, and it's just it's just minecart uh, trail tracks. Minecart tracks going up in a circle to the top of the Sky Rail Tower thing. Apparently this guy wants to die. So we will probably kill him if we don't die first. There we go. There we go. Uh, the cart should be coming back down. There we go. Uh, if you want to, or sorry, if I want it automated, I flip a lever. If I just want to go one way and I want it to stop at the top, I just press this button right here. So, yeah, we want it to go one way. We want the cart to stay up there. I'm going to go ahead and switch to third person because it's painful to watch if you don't. Because the minecart it's going fucking spaztastic in circles. And it's nausea inducing. So yeah, in third person it's not too bad if you look at the floor. While you're writing it up. But yeah, this is site one. This is where I've been building all this time up until now. Here's another look at it. Volcano, castle, lighthouse, fort, greenhouse, mountain of doom. Mana trees off in the distance, you can't really see it. But yeah, this site is completely done. The only thing left here that I haven't finished is the underwater city. I will eventually get to that. I know I've said that over and over again, but I will. I will eventually get to that and finish it. It's just a pain in the balls. It really is. It's really hard. To build that much stuff underwater is really hard. So yeah, this site is done. Goodbye, site. And then over here, plop a minecart down. This is the sky rail. Just press that button and off we go. So yeah. Uh, it's going to take about three minutes or so, maybe a little bit more, to get to Site 2. Site 2 is very unique looking. It is not normal. It's not just ground and some water and some trees. It's not like that at all. And it's going to be even more interesting when I finish it. This will be just kind of a preview of it. But, yeah, until I get to Site 2, which, is like I said, it's going to take about three minutes, I'm just going to look around. There won't be much talking. If you want to skip ahead, go ahead. Feel free. I won't hold it against you. Alright, so here's the end. This is Site 2. Uh, if you were wondering why the world is loading so slow, it's because I have Fraps running to record the video. It's more or less instantaneous uh, load when Fraps is not running. So you see everything in every direction, even in front of you. 
really far out without fraps running. It looks a lot better, but now I have to deal with it. Fraps slows down uh, my computer, so it slows down the loading, sadly. But yeah, this is Site 2. This is Site 2 Tower. It's built exactly the same. It goes a lot deeper, as you can see. Mainly because Site 2... Let's go over here is inlaid into the ground as you can see that's ground level right there where the water runs off and then all the way down there in this giant fucking massive pit that's site too that's what I'm gonna be building now I'll probably start out with a castle it won't be like the one I built in site one it'll be different and after that who fucking knows I don't know what I'll build after that I'll probably stay away from things I've already built like lighthouses and volcanoes and stuff like that new stuff but yeah, this is, it's still loading. Ugh. Yeah, Fraps makes it load so fucking slow, it's ridiculous. But uh, basically how I, how I did this was I explored, I, believe it or not, I actually walked all the way out here. Before the Sky Rail was here, I walked all the way out here and found this giant ass island. Huge fucking island, as you can see. It's fucking massive. This doesn't even do it justice. You'll get an idea of just how big it is when I get down there, when I'm on the ground level. But this island is fucking massive. What I did was I cut out the island. And then, uh... I'd say probably 90% of the island was already surrounded by water. The parts that weren't surrounded by water, after I cut out the island, I filled in. So now, all the way around this giant, huge pit that I'm going to be building in, there's waterfalls. There's water, there's, there's lakes, rivers, there's even an ocean on one side that all falls off into the pit. So the entire edge, the entire circumference, is surrounded by waterfalls. Now this is not finished. I'm going to go ahead and go down here. Actually, I'll give you another look first over here. This is a better look at one of the edges. That's what it looks like. That's, that's ground level right there, and then it, the water just falls off into this giant pit. Let's see. Did I? Yes, I did leave it up here. Good, good. Alright. I'm going to use the button, because I want to go one way. And I'm going to use third person because I don't want to throw up. But anyways, this is site two. Uh, I'm going to be building down into this pit. And I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to do something to the sides where the water lands, basically. Where it, where it pulls. Apparently this lever wasn't pulled. There we go. To the, to this, look how deep this is. <laughs> This gives you a better idea of just how big this is when you're down here. It's fucking deep and it's huge. Alright, so I have a couple of ideas of what I could do to finish Site 2. It doesn't necessarily need anything. I could leave it this way, the way it is right now, where the water just falls down and kind of pools out and goes all the way around the edge. Get off of me. Ugh, stupid blobs. I don't have any... I don't have any food. Ugh, that was stupid. Let's get rid of this one. He's coming to be irritating. There we go. I could leave it the way it is right now on the edges. Another option is I could dig out the edges straight down and have the water fall straight down basically all the way through the bedrock. Once you get past the bedrock down there, there's just nothingness. So the water would fall straight down and then just disappear into the void I guess <laughs> uh, that's another way I could do it I would also if I made that all the way around the edges of the entire pit it would mean the inner area that I'm building on would be a floating island basically because it wouldn't be attached to the edges that's another option I think that'd look pretty cool it wouldn't be too hard to do it would take a while but it wouldn't be too hard another option is I could just uh, dig down one layer and have the water pool down there, kind of like... Let's see if I can do it, if the water will let me. Kind of like... Come on. I gotta get the water to stop coming out. Just to show you what I'm talking about. Should have brought more blocks. <laughs> uh... There we go. Alright, now I think this is the part where it's dug out. 
That's not exactly what I was talking about, but it's close, I guess. <laughs> Basically, what I was saying was I could dig out, at, like, one tile. Instead of going all the way down, like I said, like I said earlier, uh, the first option, I could just dig down maybe one or two, and then the water would fall into that hole instead of spreading out like this on the edges. Obviously, this part wouldn't be there because the hole would be going all the way around. So that's another option. I did a really failed job of explaining that, but whatever. Uh, another option, which would easily take the most work out of the, out of the whatever that was, three or four. I could make this entire inner area lava, all of it, all the way up to the water, going all the way around. And then I could do another level above the lava and make it a floating island. Make a floating island above the, the giant lava pit. This entire middle area would be a lava ocean. And then there'd be an island on top of that. That's another one I could do. That would look really cool. It wouldn't necessarily be fun to play because I couldn't dig down <laughs> to get to resources. I would have to dig out. That would be my only option. Also, it would be a lot more dangerous. Because <laughs> obviously there'd be a lava fucking ocean below me every time I'm building stuff. So, yeah. But, and it would also be by far the hardest to accomplish. <laughs> Making this bottom level right here lava wouldn't be that hard. It'd be time consuming, but it wouldn't be difficult. Building the floating island above it would be a massive pain in the ass. That'd be really difficult. So I don't know if I'm going to do that one. It's an idea, and it would, like I said, it would look really cool, but it would be really hard. <laughs> and it would take a, quite a while, so... I don't know, those are just a few ideas I've had. I might come up with some more ideas and go with one of them if they are if they end up being better. Uh, if you think one of those ideas is best, you know, just let me know. Uh, I'll take it into consideration. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to do that, necessarily, but I'll take it into consideration. Or if you have a better idea about how I can do this, I will take suggestions. If it's a good idea, who knows, I might use it. It's possible. I might even just end up leaving it like this, where the water just falls down and, you know, pools out like this. I don't think it looks great, but it's easy. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to do anything else. It's already like that. So, yeah, that, that's a plus. Uh, last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video real quick. I'm going to turn massive view distance on, and then I'm going to go out into the middle so you can see just how big this is. I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got extreme, ridiculous view distance on. I forget what it's called. Let's look real quick. I've got that set to far, but I always have it on far. Underworld, I have far view on. Which, I think it says it does three times the normal. Yeah, three times. So it's three times far distance. <laughs> which is ridiculous. But yeah, as you can see, this area is fucking huge. It is very big. I'm gonna have a ridiculous amount of space to build. I'm standing on this little mini tower right here just so the blobs will leave me the fuck alone because I don't have any health. <laughs> but yeah, this place is gigantic. This is site two. This is where I will be building. I'll probably build a castle first. I think I already said that. And then after that, I have no idea. If anyone's got any good ideas about something that I haven't built before but that's actually interesting and isn't just, you know, ridiculous. I mean, I'm not going to build a fucking carnival or some stupid shit like that. But yeah, you know, some that seems not out of place, you know, let me know. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Skyrail, bitches! Look at that. It's so awesome. <laughs>